What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Now today I have Pizza Port Brewery. This brewery is north of San Diego and it's established since 1987. And this really represent what Southern California is. Now, I was able to acquire five of these beers. Um, but before we get into this, just remember, if you want to get my free guide on the fundamentals of tasting, head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will give you my 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. All right, put that out of the way. What did I actually get out of this brewery? Well, let's start with the California honey. This is a blonde ale that is brewed with honey, of course, and the hop selection is Mount Hood and Herlito Blanc. And this has an ABV of 4.8%. Then we have the Punto Session IPA. This has an ABV of 4.5. Then we have the Swami's IPA that has an ABV of 6.8. The hop mix on this is Chinook, Cascade, Centennial, Simcoe, Citra, and CTZ. Then we have the Cook Double IPA at 8.5% ABV. The hop selection is Amarillo, El Dorado, Chinook, CTZ, and Hurl Melon. Then we have the Chronic Ale. This is an amber ale that has an ABV of 4.9, and the hop selection is Mount Hood. And finally, we have the Bacon and Eggs. This Imperial Stout is a coffee stout, and it has an ABV of Eight. The packaging on these, I mean, is really classic. This is Southern California. You can pretty much think of, you know, anything with a wave, a surfboard, a, a swami. Like, this is just the style. This is really a classic brewery. Been around since 87. They, they're just iconic. I mean, back then, you know, there wasn't a huge market for double IPAs, but the world has changed since 87. So what do they actually taste like when we get to them? Well, for starters, the California honey has a light gold color, some hops on the nose, but delicate. On the mouthfeel, you get the honey and the hops, but this once again is delicate. It's subtle. It has some sweet notes that are driven by the acidity into this long lingering finish. Like I said previously, like, this isn't supposed to be big over the top. These beers are made to be drank outside, hanging out. All right, then when we get to the Ponto Session IPA, this has a 24 karat gold color. Light on the nose with some hoppiness on the palate. You get some of the malt that's driven by the acidity into this light hoppy finish that doesn't go very far. But like I said previously, this is a session. You're supposed to have four, five, six, seven if you have to in the middle of the day, just hanging out, the beach, just barbecuing. That's the whole idea of having a session beer. That's the style. Now when we get to the Swami, it also has a 24 karat gold color with some amber hints due to the high hopping. This has more serious hops on the nose, but not overpowering. The mouthfeel is a little bit more structure. It has a lot of hops on the palate that drives the acidity into the finish that's complex, but short. For me, this wasn't like a mind-boggling beer. I'm not a huge IPA, very hoppy kind of guy, so that's just how it is. It's good, but it's light. It's not like bang into your face. Now on to the Kook Double IPA. Again, 24 karat gold with some deeper amber hints due to the high hopping. The nose is very hoppy, but not overpowering. The palate has real structure and it's layers upon layers of malt with some dried fruit into this very bitter finish. Now for me, this is just too hoppy, too over the top. Um, I mean, there's a huge market for that for me. I just don't like these super double crazy IPA out of control. I find that the hopping just takes over and then you kind of like lose the, you know, the, it's all bitterness. So yeah. That's just how I feel about it. All right, the Chronic Ale. This is an amber ale that has a deep amber color, as it should, with sweet notes of brown sugar and hops on the nose. On the mouthfeel, you do get that sweetness with layers of caramel, toffee, honey, and it's driven by nice, hoppy acidity. Now, this beer has more of the style that I enjoy. I mean, it's a classic amber, which is supposed to be a little sweet. You do get a little bit of hoppiness. This is, again, you know, middle of the day kind of drinking beer. 
I really like this beer. And then finally, the bacon and eggs. Now, this has a rich dark brown color and the nose just explodes out of the glass with coffee, dark chocolate, mocha, roasted malt. On the palate, it delivers everything that the nose suggests. There's a lot going on in this beer and you get this lingering finish. I have to say that the bacon and eggs was probably my favorite. I'm into Imperial Stout, but sometimes they overdo it and they're too sweet. But again, that's not the style of this brewery. This brewery is about making nice, light, drinkable beers. I really love this baking and eggs. All right, let's do a quick recap on what you should buy and what you should pass. Starting with the California Honey. This is a buy. I have to say, this was such a good beer. Then the Ponto Session IPA. This was also a buy. I mean, for an IPA, low alcohol, just a drinker all day. Then the Swami, that was a pass for me. Just a little bit too bitter. Then the Cook Double IPA. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of these ginormous, bittering beers, but that's on you. For me, that's just not the style that I'm into. Then we have the Chronic Ale. This Amber Ale has a 4.5% ABV, and I have to say that this was really good. Again, they stick to their style. These are drinkers. They're not over the top, out of control, which I really appreciate. And then finally, the bacon and eggs. I mean, the bacon and eggs is so good. This is such a nice stout. Even at 8% alcohol, you really don't feel it because the there's so much structure to it and the length is really good. The nose is really pretty. I mean, it's just a beautiful beer. I really love this bacon and eggs. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Otherwise, leave a comment if you have questions on anything. And like I said previously, if you head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, I will send you the fundamentals of tasting. And remember my friend, Please stay sober. Peace.